Oakland, San Diego. I'm Merton. This is Boris Gronofsky. He lived in Moscow, Russia up until November of 1992. He collects coins and likes orienteering. This is Londi Lopez. She plays the violin, speaks English and Spanish, and enjoys reading, writing, and collecting pennies. This is Nicolas Martinez. He also speaks English and Spanish and likes playing football, baseball, basketball, and the violin. And this is Top Grunt, Carmen's bad biker burglar who grooms with chain grease. Top Grunt! His last known whereabouts? Zaire, home of the eastern lowland gorilla. These gentle, quiet animals have only one real enemy, people. In past years, people hunted them as trophies. And now people are cutting down the forest to make room for houses and farmland. The gorillas are being forced from their jungle home and right to the edge of extinction. And today their problems just got worse. <laughs> Top grunge, that slimy primate, zapped into Zaire and glommed every gorilla. He wants a gang that's hairier than he is. Gumshoes, you've got to stop him. Corral Carmen and bring in that lowland lowlife. And here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hi, guys. Thank you very much. Hi, Boris. Blondie. Nicholas, good to see you guys. Nice to have you on this case here. Listen, I just want to remind you that uh, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to win that trip to anywhere in North America, and that isn't bad. <laughs> so, to start them off here, we'll start out with 50 Acme Crime Bucks, and you guys know how to play this already, right? Okay, so we won't waste time on that. Let's just get started with our very first clue from the Acme Crime Net computer, right over this way. Let's see if we can get this thing started up. It always has some problems with this. Look at here. It says Moxico. M-O-X-I-C-O. That must be a typographical error or something. It's supposed to be Mexico, obviously. Uh, Greg, not the... it's not a typo. Really? M-O-X-I-C-O is pronounced Moshiko. And it's a province in a southwest African country between Zambia and the Atlantic Ocean. Now, Portugal used to control the country, but it's been independent since 1975. And since then, the nation has been torn by civil war. Now, grunge can only make things worse. So, go get them. Okay, thanks a lot. Gee, it's really weird because I, I would have sworn that uh, the computer was making typographical errors, but obviously not. Okay, thanks a lot, computer. Oh. Very funny. Okay, guys, name the country. Is it Tanzania, Nigeria, or Angola? That was the clues that we heard. Uh, Southwest Africa, formerly a Portuguese colony, and between Atlantic Ocean and Zambia. Boris is ready, so is Nicholas, and Landi is now ready. Boris, what do you think? I think Angola. Angola. Landi, what do you say? The Tanzania. Tanzania. Nicholas? I said Angola. Angola. The answer we're looking for is Angola. Nice job, guys. As you know, we give uh, 10 crime bucks every time you answer a question correctly, and uh, it escapes me just now exactly who makes sure all of our answers are correct. National Got Geographic World. That's it. Greg. Thank you very much. For our next clue, we turn to the leakiest beak in the business. Talk, stool pigeon. No deal, Pally. I don't squeal. I'll never tell you the top grunges hold up in a city on the Persian Gulf. The berg's on top of some huge oil reserves, so some of the citizens are mucho rich. It's the capital of a country ruled by a guy named Sheikh Jabir al Ahmad al Jabir al Sabah. But things aren't all fine and dandy, see? Iraq invaded in 1990 and left the city in ruins. Now take a powder, Flatfoot. I got nothing to say, see? Nah. Easy. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Baghdad, Riyadh, or Kuwait City? Remember the clues that we heard? Located on the Persian Gulf, country wealthy from oil, and Iraq invaded in 1990. Boris is ready, so is Londi, so is Nicholas. Boris, what do you think? I think Kuwait City. Kuwait City. Londi, what do you think? Kuwait City. Kuwait City. Nicholas? Say Kuwait City. Everybody said Kuwait City. The answer we're looking for is Kuwait City. Nice job, guys. So, Boris, you go up to 70, Londi has 60, Nicholas 70 crime bucks. Now, guys, listen, don't get discouraged because I know we can catch uh, Top Grunge with just a little more work. So all you have to do well, is... Well, I should say so. It's my nosy neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Hey, Miss P, you're looking good today. Stop trying to sweet-talk me, Greggy. 
top grunge took the gorillas to a stop it on city on Port Phillip Bay in southern Australia. They went drag racing along the Great Ocean Road. Stop it. Then to an Australian rules football match where they threw food stuffs at the umpires. For dinner, they grilled bananas on the barbie. Now, stop it. <laughs> now, go grab that hairy-backed, knuckle-dragging beast and save the gorillas, too, please. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mrs. P. Thank you. You know, I really never noticed it before. Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger, Marilyn Monroe, could be. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Melbourne, Darwin... Or Adelaide. Remember the clues that we heard. Southern Australia on Port Phillip Bay and city on the Great Ocean Road. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find grunge and the gorilla. Nicholas is ready. So is Londi. And Boris is too. Boris, what do you think? Adelaide. Adelaide. Londi? Darwin. Darwin. Nicholas? Adelaide. Adelaide. The answer we're looking for is Melbourne. Oh, sorry, guys. Nobody got anywhere on that one. Tough break right there. Thank you, audience. That was very nice of you to do that. Okay, so that means everybody stays where they are. Boris is at 70. Lonnie is at 60. Nicholas, 70 crime bucks. Now, for... whoa, it startled me. It's time for the lightning round, as you know. So all these questions are about Top Grunge's most recent known whereabouts, which is Melbourne, Australia. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. Hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. On the banks of Melbourne's Yarra River, what will you find coin-operated versions of? A, TV sets, B, soda machines, or C, barbecue grills? Boris. Barbecue grills. Is right. Nice job, Boris. Right for you. Takes up 75. Question two. Melbourne's biggest festival has an aboriginal name that means let's get together and have fun. So, is the name Lemmy Koopa, Iggy Koopa, or Moomba? Boris. Iggy Koopa. Sorry, it's not Iggy Koopa. Landy or Nicholas? Nicholas. Landy Koopa. Sorry, it's not uh, Lemmy Koopa either. Landy? Man Koopa. Uh, sorry, it's not any Koopas. The Koopas are from uh, the Super Mario Brothers, uh, you know, video game. Yeah, the answer is Moomba. Sorry, guys. I figured you would have known that one for sure. Okay. Question three. Outside of the cities of Athens and Thessaloniki, Melbourne has the largest population of this ethnic group. Are the people Greeks, Italians, or Germans? Nicholas. Greeks. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of the lightning round, Boris has 75, Londi 60, Nicholas 75, crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, Fred, for my office right away. Okay, Chief. I'll be right there. If you guys just excuse me for just a moment. Obviously, the Chief is in dire need of my services. What's up, Chief? Oh, Greg, Acme just sent me this chrono modifier. You set this dial for yeah. any time you want to visit, press this button, and poof. That's great. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. All right. What time period should we visit? Uh, how about yesterday? Yesterday. You want to visit yesterday? Yeah. 24 hours ago? Chief, wouldn't you like to see how the people lived back then? How they dressed, what they ate? As I recall, I had a Limburger sandwich. Come on, Chief. Oh, yesterday doesn't oh. come along every day. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Chief. Chief, look. This is yesterday's paper. We've made it back to yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> Would you look at this stuff? Look. Look at the furniture they had back then. Look at this. This must be some sort of uh, writing utensil. Simple, but effective. Huh? Look at this, Chief. Look at this. Must be some kind of communication device. Probably. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we should get back. We've got a case to solve. Good point. Ah. <sighs> Sure is nice to be home, Yes, huh? it is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. We have to tell the home viewers about the contest. Oh, you're right. Listen, every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Now, every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Right. Now, let's show them who won today. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, Chief, can we visit yesterday tomorrow? Greg, no. if you visit yesterday tomorrow, you'll be in today. I knew that. Yeah, I guess that would make a lot of sense.
Uh, flashback. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Grunge and the Gorilla. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnut has just intercepted this phone conversation between Grunge and Carmen San Diego. Grunge, those gumshoes are closing in. Hide the gorillas in bikini. Uh, I don't know, Carmen. <coughs> I think they look a lot nicer in baggy shorts. Bikini at all, valve breath. It's a coral island in a former U.S. territory close to the equator. Hey, no problem. <coughs> These gorillas love warm places. Yes, but they don't swim. And if the Earth's warming continues, the ice caps could melt, the oceans would rise, and these islands could end up underwater. Wow, thanks for the tip, Carmen. <coughs> I'll get water wings for my chopper. <coughs> Mm, okay, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Marshall Islands, Philippines, or Guam? Remember the clues that we heard? Bikini Atoll, former U.S. territory close to equator, and concern about global warming. Nicholas is ready, so is Londi. Boris, what do you think? I think it's Marshall Islands. Marshall Islands. Londi? I said Guam. Guam. Nicholas? I said Marshall Islands. Marshall Islands. The answer we're looking for is Marshall Islands. Nice job, guys. So, Boris, you have 85, Londy 60, Nicholas 85 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, for our next clue, we... T Wait a minute, it sounds like a tuneful yeah. clue at hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't you know... That's the smell of the ace riding on the car railroad. Well, don't you know... That's the smell of the ace yeah. riding on the railroad. Top front stood the gorillas on out to New England's Granite State. Old top train on Mount Washington with that live free or die license plate. Well, don't you know? That's the smell of the ace riding on the car railroad. That's the smell of the ace riding on the rail. Rockapella, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, name the state, if you will, please. Is it Massachusetts, New Jersey, or New Hampshire? Remember the clues that we heard. Cog Railroad on Mount Washington. New England's Granite State. Live free or die on the state's license plates. Boris is already ready. Londy and Nicholas is, are now ready. Okay, uh, Boris, what do you think? I think it's New Hampshire. New Hampshire, Londy. Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Nicholas. I said New Hampshire. New Hampshire. The answer we're looking for is New Hampshire. Nice job, guys. So, Boris, you up to 95, Londy 60, Nicholas 95 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Grunge has left New Hampshire. So, <laughs> the chase. All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Grunge took off for the capital of New York. Name the city, Boris. Albany. Yeah, Albany is right. Then he charged southwest across New York's border. Londy? Pennsylvania. Is right. Next, Grunge raced a sea speedboat. Nicholas? Oh. <laughs> you didn't mean De to do it? Delamarva, Del oh. whatever. That's right. Delmarva Pen uh, Peninsula is right. Nice job. He flew the gorillas from the peninsula to Washington, D.C. What body, Boris? Just big. Chesapeake Bay is right. Grunge left Washington, D.C. and zoomed. Uh, Boris. New Jersey. New Jersey is right. Nice job, guys. That means at the end of the chase, Boris has 110, Londy 65, Nichols 100. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Good round, all of you. Nice job. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you guys have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Books. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think grunge is headed. Now, if you guys think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, everybody's ready for our last clue. We turn to field agent Zachary Ty Bryan from Acme Home Improvement Net. Watch. Hi, gumshoes. Top Grunge and the rest of the gorillas are in a European nation northeast of Poland on the Baltic Sea. The country is a major producer of amber, a beautiful, clear yellow jewel that's made of ancient petrified tree sap. Look for Top Grunge smashing the amber 
and munching on preserved bugs inside. Okay, guys, name the European nation, if you will, please. Is it Lithuania, Romania, or Hungary? Remember the clues that we heard? Northeast of Poland, on Baltic Sea, and source of amber. This is the final clue of this round, remember, everybody. So this one is an important one. Okay, since it is the last clue, lay those answers right down there in front of you. Londi, you have 65. How much did you risk? I risked 40 crime. 40 crime bucks. Going some, for some bucks here. What'd you say? I said Lithuania. Lithuania is right. Nice job, Londi. Takes you up to 105. Nicholas, you have 100 crime bucks. You look uh, pretty happy there. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say, Nicholas? I said Lithuania. Also. Nice job, Nicholas. <laughs> Takes you up to 110. Boris, you have 110. I can't tell what you're thinking. How much did you risk? 50. Oh, he went for the big stuff. What'd you say, Boris? I said Lithuania. Is right. Nice job. That means Boris and Nicholas are going on to the next round. Londi, listen, this was a very close game, and you played it very well. We have assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. You did a great job here today. And to help you in your next case, we put together this Ask Me Travel Kit. Now, inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and to keep you in touch with world affairs, we're also giving you this Acme World Ball, handy for tracing the equator and for three-point play. Well, congratulations. Okay, guys, remember, we now have to go to Lithuania to try to find the gorilla and grunge. Are you guys all packed, ready to go? Yeah, sure they are. Okay, uh, listen, why don't you grab my uh, hat here, Boris, and Nicholas, if you could grab the uh, door, please. We'll make our way out here. You guys can come along, too. Here we go. This is such a great boat, Chief. It's not just a boat, Greg. It's the world's only floating Nielsen household. Okay, guys, come on. Come, yeah, all right, then go over that way. Here we go. Right here to your positions. The chief has sent some very important information she wants you to catch. So, listen very carefully while I plug her in. There are 15 places here in Lithuania where you might find Top Grunge, the Warrant, and the Gorillas. Let's look at a few of them. First, Vilnius, the capital. Some call it the Green City, for the obvious reason. <laughs> Plenty of green stuff for gorillas to gorge on. Look for top grunge in this memorial parade. It honors those who died in Lithuania's long struggle for independence. Note the national dress and shoes and hats. The Vilnius Post Office, where folks mail letters and play video games. <laughs> uh, no, don't even think about it, gumshoes. You don't have time. Head to the Hill of Crosses, a patriotic and religious shrine. Catch top grunge before he uses it for a cycle slalom. That's your briefing, gumshoes. Now head into Lithuania and obtainia that no-brainia. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Guys, just as a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch Carmen San Diego, you get the trip, okay? Boris, you are ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Hill of Crosses. Uh, Hill of Crosses. Okay, nothing there, but we're on our way. Nicholas. Uh, Palace of Sports. Palace of Sports. The Warrant. Nice job. You found the Warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, Warrant, Crook. Go ahead, Hill of Nick. Crosses. Uh, Hill of Crosses. Nice strategy. Okay, we turn these back around. Boris, go ahead. Lost City of Kurnav. Lost City of Kurnav. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Nicholas. Uh, Island Castle. Island Castle. Nope, sorry. Nothing there. Boris. Lithuanian Song Festival. Uh, the Song Festival, Lithuanian Song Festival. Nothing. Sorry, nothing there. Nicholas, Lake <laughs> Luna. It startled you, didn't it, Nicholas? It's a little spooky here. Go ahead, what do you say? Lake Luna. Lake Luca. Oh, Luca. Pilford Primate. Oh, whatever it's called, you got it. And uh, remember, you get the free turn now. Loot Warrant Crooks, what we're looking for. Go ahead, Nick. Palace of Sports. Palace of Sports. The Warrants. So you have the loot, you have the warrant. You need just one more. Can you find Grunge? Byroot Hill. Is Grunge at Baruta's Hill? 
No, he's not. But nice job. You found two of them. We'll turn these back Lake around. Luca. Boris, go ahead. Lake Luca. Lake Luca. Brunch has a gorilla for sale. <laughs> go ahead, Boris. Palace of Sports. Palace of Sports. The you have the loot, you have the warrant still trying to find grunge. Go ahead, Boris. St. Casimir's Church. St. Casimir's Church. No, he's not there. Very good. We'll turn these back around. Boris, it's very nice pronunciation on your part. Nicholas, go ahead. Lake Luca. Lake Luca. Missing monkeys. Go ahead, Palace Nick. of Sports. Palace of Sports. The warrant. Still trying to find grunge. Where is he? Where is he, Nick? Um, Freedom Monument. Is grunge at the Freedom Monument? Yeah! Whoa! Great job. Come on over here, Nick. Nice job, buddy. Kind of surprised everybody there. Nice job. You feel good, right? Yeah. Okay, now all you have to do is put the guy in jail, pull the chain, and do it. All right, buddy, listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. But first, Boris, listen, you were a fantastic competitor today. You, were some, you did some great stuff today for us. Chief has something very special for you. Chief, thanks for helping us sniff out that stinker top grunge. In recognition of your accomplishments here today, I award you an official Acme travel kit. And because I admire your hard work, I've signed the papers so that you receive a really cool automatic camera that's small enough to hide in your pocket. Now, I give this camera only to our most promising field agent. For your fine work on behalf of Acme Crime Net, I salute you. Right. What did you just say? Are oh, you right? <laughs> we were just talking about you feel much better now, obviously, because yeah. you're here now. So now you just have one more thing to do. Yeah. Right. And before you do that, though, we have to find out where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. Here is our batter dipped portfolio. Inside, there's also a pen and a piece of paper. If you would, please, sir, write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, okay, listen. So now, you've seen the show, obviously, before. Yeah. So you know what happens about this time. Get up. Phone call. One second here. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Hold on. It's for you. Hello? <laughs> this jail cell is awful. No matter where I stand, I'm never more than 12 feet away from the soap. <laughs> and it's all Carmen's fault. Go get her in North America. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Nick. Very good. What do you say? North America. Okay, Nick, you and I are going to North America. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Baffin Island, Canada. Lake Winnipeg, Canada. Ontario, Canada. New Brunswick, Canada. Illinois, USA. Idaho, USA. Grand Canyon, USA. Arkansas, USA. The Everglades, USA. Sinaloa, Mexico. Guatemala. Honduras. Puerto Rico, USA. Greg, let's go to the map. You have the marker in hand. We're going to get 45 seconds up at a clock. You know what this is all about. Eight and 45 seconds. You guys cheer them on. Here we go, Nicholas. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on with the Mazatlan to Nola, Mexico. Mexico. Mazatlan, Mexico. Do it. Yeah, come on, come on. Grand Canyon National Park, USA. Grand Canyon, USA. Do it. Do it. Yeah, come on. Lake Winnipeg, Canada. Lake Winnipeg, Canada. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. Mock to New Brunswick, Canada. New Brunswick, Canada. Do it, do it, do it. No, try it again, try it again. Come on back, come back. Champaign, Illinois. Illinois, Champaign, Illinois. Yeah, come on, come on. Ontario, Canada, Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada, come on, buddy. Yes, yes, Baffin Island, Canada, Baffin Island, Canada. Hurry, you gotta hurry. Start again. Oh, five and 45 seconds. Give him a big round of applause, Nicholas. Baby. Man, you got enough to be ashamed of. This is a tough map, and you did a great job. Five is fantastic. You got very close there at the very end. But listen, remember, you got the crook. That's what we ask you to do. Nice job, buddy. Chief, what do you say? 
We know how tough catching Carmen San Diego can be, but you did grab that grimy goon top grunge. So I sent Limpke around to collect pennies, and sure enough, there were enough to buy you a portable CD player. Now you can listen to these world music CDs and this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. My buddy, right here, buddy. Oh, yeah, very nice. Listen, man, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockapella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger books her from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a long boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and stuff. Ah, we all make it. Right on top of the red leaves of Greenland. Tell me, straight in the blue. Well, they never like it. Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is Lynn Dixon for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? And remember, hey. You heinous perpetrators, we will mash you like potatoes. One more time. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Nice job. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded.